So if you've kept up with the Frankie's Free Range Meat vlogs, you all know some type of ridiculous nonsense happens every week. And welcome to another week here of my coverage of Frankie's ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> Today we're gonna, you know, since Frankie is kind of out to lunch, we're gonna go back into Frankie's past and see him trying to criticize vegan Dr. John McDougal. Dr. John McDougal, an icon in the vegan community, hasn't been doing so well lately. Dr. McDougall has always advocated a heavily potato grain diet with some fruits and vegetables. Corn, taro, with vegetables and fruit. And guys, I know, I don't mean to make personal attacks here, but the guy is following a plant-based diet. That's why he looks like this. It's all fair game. Let's take a look at old Dr. McDougall. And today we have a very special guest. Um, is that him? That's it. Uh -huh. a, a mentor of mine, one of the pioneers in, in, in vegetarian vegan diets. 71 years old. Looks fine. I can't count the amount of times, the amount of pain I've been in from my headaches, my stomach aches, the past drugs, the Accutane. To say he went off the rails in his recent conversation with John Duyard is an understatement. I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God. Holy fuck. This is unfucking believable. This, this is, I'm losing it. I'm fucking losing it. I'm losing it. There was a point I was actually gonna fucking stick this out, but today, this shit happens every And we got Joe Biden to thank for this. Okay, back to John McDougall. There's, there's very few people on the planet that have been preaching the exact same message for 40 years. Very few people preaching that information for 40 years? is the entire USDA dietary guidelines. Which is not followed, and you know, you know what he's about to say. He's gonna do that trickery thing, where he does not acknowledge that people are not following the guidelines. But I won't bore you with that shit. I'll wrap up this part by saying, the USD guidelines are not the exact same thing as John McDougall's starch solution. And he says going back 40 years. I don't think Frank Tufano goes back 40 years. <laughs> Well, it's kind of surprising by the wrinkles on his face. I think he's in his early 30s at most. I'm not sure. But I was around 40 years ago. Maybe he's not old enough to remember the four food group system where animal products were half the plate. Not high enough in fruits and vegetables. Shipment information on the box wasn't adequate. I've been shipping packages for three fucking years, you fucking morons. Holy fuck. Three fucking years. Holy fuck. Fucking moron. I'm going to fuck. I swear to fucking God. I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Well, Frankie is back and he is still going with more. More legal nonsense. That's him using that term about three weeks ago. But it's reminding me of the way some people are talking in Congress just this week. Does that sound familiar? Legal nonsense. Hmm. You know, knowing the how I've been treated with the legal system Buddy, maybe don't accuse people of being child or Yeah, this is sounding more familiar all the time. So let's hear a little bit about Frank's legal troubles. So I'm making this video to apologize to my customers on Frankie's Free Range Meat. I will send out all the orders as soon as possible. Do not worry about anything. Uh, some of you saw the video I posted earlier titled, uh, UPS is destroying what's left of my business. Coincidentally, when all of these other things have happened to my business, <clears throat> and I'm basically looking at closing up. I get sent about 30 packages so far. 30 boxes of meat came back. There could have been change in the regulations, which is likely 
Some people, like Frank, would say that the current president is overregulated. But I would say the former guy was notorious for underregulating. He was like Frank, just hates regulation. It just doesn't end, guys. It just doesn't end. I guess I can address some of the comments you guys have left on my videos over the past several weeks. Uh, one is to get a new lawyer. <laughs> First of all, they're all in on it. I know some lawyers that would take Frankie's case. There's a lot of lawyers that would look at this and say, this could make me rich. This story could go national in the news. This is, this is a big deal, guys. This is not a small amount of money. Um, same, same with the amount of money to relocate out of New York, guys. I don't, ha I don't have the money to relocate. No, there really isn't somewhere else you can get meat online, which is pretty, pretty sad considering I'm your best option. Of all the things that are happening to my business, there's one too many coincidences. You guys know this is nothing short of corruption and harassment. Sending the county, sending this fucking sheriff of New York City and two USDA inspectors and three cops and to seize his product and harass him and do that to me, that is unheard of. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all the names of the people involved in this case. So maybe you guys can give oh. them a call and talk some sense into them. Oh, um, the arbitrator. Oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yes. He's yes, 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 yes. I would say that's illegal. It's uh, putting names on the internet and then telling people to go after them fucking trying to dox them and waste their time by getting his audience to fucking spam call them holy shit if you get people like if you rally a mob and they do something illegal you are partly liable for that it does remind me of something